Hi there boys and girls, welcome to another week of our channel together. It is a very wet and rainy day today, the perfect day to be doing some craft. Up here you can see what we're going to be making today. This is Sid the Sloth. Now, sloths are an amazing animal and there are two types of sloth, the three-toed sloth and the two-toed sloth. And there are six species of sloth in the world. They live in Central and South America and they spend most of their lives in tropical rainforests, munching on the leaves and the trees and the buds. And sloths are really known for one thing. They are known for being extremely, extremely slow. Very, very slow animals. They move very slow, they eat very slow. And also they're known for hanging upside down a lot and for being a little bit lazy. In fact, they spend up to 15 to 20 hours a day sleeping. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, so I'm gonna take you through what we're gonna need for today's craft. You need two paper plates, okay? You need some card again. So green card, if you've got two different colors, great. One color of green is fine. Some black card, a peachy colored card, or you can do like a light brown. And then I have like an orangey color, like a burnt orange. Again, it could be a briny color as well if you don't have that. But these are the colors that we're gonna use for the sloth's face. You need some cardboard. Now, I use an old cardboard box I had, and the cardboard is gonna be used for the tree trunk. So you can either maybe put some bits together and staple them if you don't have a piece that's long enough, but an old piece of cardboard. Some paints, some brown and some white paint. A glue stick, paintbrush, some scissors, pencil and a sharpie and you're going to need two things to draw around to make circles. I've got a larger circle and a smaller circle so anything you have lying around the house. Okay to begin take your paper plates and you're going to paint them with the brown and the white paint and um, sloths are made up of tiny 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 little hairs all over their body and they're like a whitey brown color they vary in color so i've mixed the paint together to create kind of a fur look so once your two um, plates have dried on the back of one draw a line down the middle and we're going to cut that plate in half so i'm going to do that now So cut your plate in half and set that to the side. On the back of the other plate, take the larger round circle, we're gonna use this for the face, pop it on the back and draw around it with your pencil. When you've done that, cut to the circle, okay? Don't go through the circle, just cut up to the circle line and do the same on the opposite side. So start at the edge and cut to the circle. And that makes it a little bit easier to cut out. So I'm gonna cut out our circle now. And this is gonna be used for the sloth's face. One half will fall off, nearly there. Okay, there we go. You set that little circle to the side. And with the spare pieces, on the paper plate, you can see like a ridged edge and we're gonna use that ridged edge for the arms. So just where, maybe on the plate, the, the plain one, you can see a little bit better, where the ridge stops on the inside of the plate, that's where you're going to cut. So I'll cut it first and then I can show you. Okay, so you can see on the back as well, the ridges and where they stop, just cut all around there. So that's one. And do the same, we need this ridge part on the other half of that plate as well. Okay, keep the ridged sections, and these bits are spare, so you can just pop those to the side. With the two ridged um, sections, just cut those in half. And those are going to be our sloth's arms. So on each um, section that you've cut, make a rounded shape at the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to do that. 
and then I can show you. So just a rounded edge for his arm. I'll do one on this end as well. There's one. So rounded on both um, ends. This one is well. Hi, bird. She's been very vocal today. Okay, two. And the last one. And we can adapt the sizing of these once we get our body parts in place and see how we go. So there we go. Round it on both ends and just put your scrap pieces to the side. Okay, take one half of your plate and your pit stick and glue the back of your circle. And if I hold this, you're gonna position its head on the end, just on the tip here of the plate. So like so, and press that down so it's nice and secure. I'm just gonna check Sid that I've got this in a good place. Okay, there we go. Now for the arms. You can see on um, Sid that I've got two at the back and two on the front of the plate. So we're gonna stick the ones on the front first. So I'll show you like this. We're gonna stick those on the front. Now, I actually might make these a little bit smaller. So if you put them on top of each other, and take off maybe two centimeters, one centimeter, two centimeters off the top. Just make those slightly smaller and then they'll both be exactly the same. Glue the bottom of one of the wee arms. Press it firmly down. Glue the bottom of the other. And press it firmly down. There we go. So we've got the head and the two arms at the front. Now we're gonna place the, the other two arms. This is just gonna go slightly behind and we're gonna be sticking it on the back. So it's just gonna go slightly behind this wee foot here and this one's gonna go slightly behind as well. So I'll stick those on and then we can check the position. So again, glue the, um, the painted side this time because remember, it's going to be stuck on the back of the plate, like so. So you can see that that's why I put the paint aside because it's stuck to the back. There we go. And again, glue the painted side. Turn it over, and we'll stick this on the back. Just check the position here. Okay, there's two on the back as well. There we go. Arms and legs are attached. Next up is the sloth's face. Now, on a sloth, it has these patches over its eyes and its face has a little circle on it as well. So this is where that peachy color comes in and your smaller circle. So I've just taken a candle and I've drawn a circle around that peach color. And here's what I've got. So I've got my circle. Now, at the top, you need to make, it's like bird's wings, okay? It's the best way I can describe it. So make little arches at the top. So like, kind of like bird's wings. And you're gonna cut those out. Just line that off a little bit. Okay, so it makes that sort of shape. Okay, and then we're going to glue the back of that. And just position that in the middle of the face like so. And give it a press, stick that down. Now also with that colour, I created a little bit of spiky hair. So I just took a tiny little piece and made some spikes 
for his hair. I'll just pop that on like so. There we go. And with a spare piece, so you had some spare pieces of this um, colour. I'm going to make some spikes for the top as well. You can just see up here. So I'll make those now. Do whatever spikes you want. You, I'm just going to do three. You can do more. There we go. Little spikes. And glue a little bit of the front, the painted side, and just stick it on the back so it's poking out the top. Like so. Can you see that? There we go. Okay. Now for the eyes. You need to take that kind of burnt orange colour or a darker brown and cut out some um, uh, patches for his eyes. You need to make sure when you draw these that the edge is rounded so that it sits neatly up against that peachy coloured um, circle on his face. And they're not exactly round, okay? They're more like an overly shape. So just play around with the shaping. And I'm gonna pop those on. And when you see them, it'll make more sense. So here's one. Close the back of this one. Two. Okay, there we go. So making sure that the edge doesn't come over that peach circle, that it's curved so that it sits nicely just up against it. You can see the shape there. So if you mimic that shape, so you need two patches and then you need a white circle for his eyes. Now I've just used um, a little bit of scrap paper and cut out two little circles. So I'm going to stick those on. near to the front of those orangey patches. If you stick them on first, you'll be able to see, like so. And then just use a Sharpie or a black felt tip to draw a circular pupil on both of those white pieces of paper. There we go. And you're going to need a little nose. And I've given a curvy smile. So a nose and a little cheeky smile. Okay, after you've got those body parts on, next comes the branch that your sloth is hanging from. And this is where that piece of um, cardboard comes in. Now I've used an old box, as I said, maybe a shoe box, or just a strong piece of card if you don't have anything like that. I've included two little branches. And this piece of card is going to slide in between the sloth's legs. So if I hold it and show you, there we go, it's just sliding in between. So if you make sure that there's enough on the end and up at the head to poke out from each side, and all you do, oh, we've got a leg coming off. More prick stick, stick that back on. All you need to do is glue the parts of the legs that are touching that piece of cardboard to secure that. You don't need to use any sellotape or any staples. So I'm just going to glue the leg or the cardboard, whatever is easiest. Remember the glue will dry clear if you've got any. I'll leave it on there. Okay, I'm going to turn that over carefully. So I've glued um, the cardboard and the front legs and stuck it on. I'm just going to lift the back legs and get a good blob of Pritt stick on the back. Really press that down, lift the back leg again. Really press those down. The excess glue there. Oh, 
And you know what? You can actually gently lift that card and try and get a little bit of glue on the back of the head just to secure that part that goes, the tree branch that goes behind the head as well. All right, there we go. So make sure that your um, branch is in between the legs and there's a bit poking out the back here and a bit at the front and you can see we've just got a few wee branches. And what's left to do now is the leaves. So as you can see, oh, and we've got our toes as well. I'm gonna put some leaves on and this is where that green card comes in. So I've just cut out some leaf shape in my different um, colored card. Again, just use print stick and you can play around with the position of those and where you wanna stick them. Little clusters of two leaves, clusters of three leaves. Let's see where I had some sticking out from behind his legs there and arms. Just pop those in and just slide them behind the, the arms and the legs and use your print stick to secure those as well. So you come out that way. And even though sloths are very slow creatures and take their time doing a lot of things, they are actually fantastic swimmers which is a fact that is kind of hard to believe when you hear it, but they are. Okay, what well, have we got? Another one there. And I think I might put one in front of this wee foot. And leaf up there on that tree branch. And one coming off this wee branch here. Ooh. One more, I think, just poking out from there. And I've got one left. May as well use that one up. Okay, there we go. So on my tree branch here, I've just put two leaves and just position some other leaves behind his front legs there. And just I've put some on the end and on this little branch here. So you can play around with the positioning of that. Now, I'm gonna make a three-toed toed sloth. So you can see I've got three little um, toes on each foot. And that's where your black card comes in. And it's like a little teardrop shape, I would say. And again, just use your print stick and glue the end of the little toe and stick those on. Oh. Remember, if they come off, just a bit more glue and press them down really well. Oops. I'll show you this one first. There you go, can you see there? So three wee toes on that one. I'm gonna do three toes on this. And I might do three toes on that one. And I'm gonna back one as well. I might need some more black card. What do you think, Bird? I think she thinks this is a good craft today. There we go. Last one. Okay, there's the next one done. So three little toes on that one. And where's our black card? Cut a strip out and a little pearl, little um, pearl shape or a little raindrop shape, pointy at the end and rounded at the bottom. So two, and I'll do one more, and then I'll maybe do the rest after. Okay, there we go. Bit more glue. One, oops, just come off there. More glue on that one. Two, <laughs> and three. You could do a two toed sloth if you want and just put two 
toes on each arm and leg. There we go. And I might leave that one until the end. Okay, that is all the parts on our sloth and our tree branch. And the last thing you need to do is I thought it'd be really nice that you, you could hang this up somewhere. So maybe on your door hands off your bedroom or on a hook around the house. I have a garden stick here and I have um, put Sid the Sloth um, in a plant, in a house plant that I have. So in order to do that, I want you to make a hole just um, above the head here and one at the end of the tree branch here. And to do that, I just used a pencil and I put a spare plate underneath. And you can get mum and dad to help you if you need. And I just press through and lifted it off a wee bit. And you just twist, twist, twist until your pencil pokes out the back. So there's one hole here. I'm going to do one just near the back here. Twist, twist, twist. There we go. Oh, the toe fell off. Squeeze that one back on. There we go. All right, so we've got a hole here and a hole here. And now what you need is some string or some twine or some wool. If you don't have that, you can use wool. And thread it through from the front. So through the front, you can do both at the same time. So thread it through both, hold it in place and turn it over gently. And a double knot at the back of each to make sure it's secure, pull that tight. And any excess string, just cut off. And I'm just gonna check how it's gonna hang, there we go. A double knot on the other side as well. Make sure that is in place and I'll cut off the excess. All right, let's see, moment of truth. There we go. That is our sloth. You can call him whatever you want. So maybe I'll take this one down, pop you there and I'll hang up our new one. Sid the sloth. I can't wait to see your creations and what you come up with and what name you give to your sloth. See you next time.